inevitable. Unless... At the end of the 2011 Sherlock Holmes movie, Game of Shadows, Sherlock Holmes and Professor Moriarty throw themselves from the balcony into the waterfall, being a perfect example of general potential energy, or GPE. General potential energy is the amount of energy stored by the change in, in position. An object gains GPE by moving to a greater height or gaining mass. The equation for GPE is mass multiplied by gravity multiplied by the height of the object. After falling off the edge, the GPE transfers to kinetic energy, or KE, as Holmes gets closer to the water. The KE is highest directly before hitting the pool of water at the bottom of the waterfall. Once it hits the water, the energy cannot be destroyed, so it is changed into heat. Newton's second law is the idea that the acceleration of body is directly proportional to and in the same direction as the net force acting on the body and inversely proportional to its mass. Thus, F equals MA, where F is the net force acting on the object, M is the mass of the object, and A is the acceleration of the object. Sherlock is the mass, and the rope pulling him is exerting a force, causing Holmes to accelerate towards the boat. What better way to conceal a killing? No one looks for a bullet hole in a bomb blast. Newton's third law is when one body exerts a force on a second body. The second body simultaneously exerts a force equal in magnitude and opposite in direction to that of the first body. The equation for finding the force is force equals mass times acceleration. In this scene, the rifle exerts an equal force on the bullet as the bullet exerts on the rifle, yet the bullet moves much faster than the gun. The reason behind the phenomenon is because the mass of the gun is much larger than the mass of the bullet. The acceleration of the bullet is much larger than the acceleration of the gun. In the action-packed scene, Dr. Watts' wife is pushed out of a moving train into a body of water. This demonstrates projectile motion. Since the train and Mrs. Watson are moving forward when she is thrown off the train, her inertia makes her continue moving in that direction, but also moving down because of the lack of the train pushing up. In the 2009 Sherlock Holmes film, Holmes engages in a brawl with a fighter. In a certain instance, one tackles another. This is an inelastic collision. An inelastic collision is when two objects collide and combine masses, creating one object. In contrast to the inelastic collision, when Holmes throws a hammer at a rather large man, the hammer merely bounces off. The hammer and man are two different objects before the collision, and also two different objects after the collision. This is called an elastic collision. An elastic collision is when two objects collide and bounce off of each other. The objects travel in opposite directions. Factory explodes due to dynamite and gunpowder. We see a conservation of momentum. Conservation of momentum is momentum of before the explosion is zero, and the momentum of the pieces of the factory after it is equal to zero because the pieces are going in all opposite directions, equaling zero. Dredger being electrocuted shows a conduction of electricity. The human body, when dry, has an average resistance of 100 ohms. Say there are 500 volts going through him, there could be up to 5 amps and he would still survive. The girls on the swing are moving with the center-seeking force. The swing's resonance depends on the length of the string. <laughs> 